Welcome charge heads. Here we are with the inverter. Now I might have uh, suggested in the last episode that something had arrived in the post and also I uh, might have purchased something while I was at uh, Electric Classic Cars with Moggy. Um, so essentially we've opened up, I say we, Ralph what? has opened up the uh, inverter and uh, the inverter and motor that we got from uh, EV shop uh, came with a open inverter board. Yep, absolutely. And this open inverter board was uh, created from Damien Maguire. I'm sure anyone that's you know very much into EVs will have heard that name before. Um, it's a board that was created to be able to control uh, Tesla motors. What other motors? Pretty much. Anything. Well, they've got different boards for different types of motors, so different applications. But this is for the small drive unit. So. Right. Um, and they've been applying that to all sorts of different things. So uh, if you follow Damon's stuff, he's, he's, he's got a wonderful amount of enthusiasm and he, he just cracks on and uh, gets on with it, which is really refreshing yeah. to see. Great sense of humour as well. Mm. <laughs> Don't forget to give a dislike, unshare, unsubscribe from this stupid channel. But um, yeah, so we decided that um, the open inverter board uh, was going to be changed. What, why were we going to change it, uh, Ralph? There was, a, there was a number of reasons, wasn't there? Uh, yeah, we just felt like it. Yeah, exactly. Um, Simple as that. So, no, there is a number of reasons with it. Um, the open inverter board's a great one for hobbyists, uh, but we wanted to get a little bit more, um, do things slightly differently. And one of the things that we've done differently is we've got hold of a vehicle controller. Yes, indeed. So from EV Controls in America, um, and this is quite a nice, powerful unit. This interfaces to the Tesla accelerator pedal and a number of other things. And it does a lot of diagnostics and safety checks. It also interfaces very nicely with the um, onboard charger that we've now got, the yep. um, CCS2 charging system, um, the Orion battery management system, and the level of sophistication it's got, the way it can output stuff to the dashboard units and the such like, means it's, it's got a lot more controllability for what we want to do. It also allows us more easily to change the drivability, so the low speed drivability to make it easier to park, less likely for you to crash in the car park. Very important. I think so. Also, um, if you see the video where I went to Electric Classic Cars, um, Moggy showed an app um, which allows you to make quite a few changes to things like regen, traction control, mm. stuff like that. I did notice actually, because um, I'm a very visual kind of guy, uh, is the fact that it said Cinch on it. It's not sponsored by Cinch, Ryland, uh, you know? No. Anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, sorry. So let, let's, let's get back to the, you know, sensible stuff. Um, so we've mm. decided to change the board now, Thank you very much to, well, thanks goes massively out to Felton. Chris, he's uh, supplied us with a original Tesla board because that particular controller doesn't actually work with the open inverter board. It has to be an original Tesla board. Isn't that right? Probably. Yep, absolutely. Uh, and it's all to do with the way it communicates over the, uh, the serial network using CAN commands. So this has got a lot of functionality in it, which that controller will make use of. So right. it's, it's just a better starting point for where we want to go with this project. And wasn't there something to do with the twin track pedal? Is the, it allows it uh, allows us to use one of those, is that correct? Yeah, that's quite important in my book. Um, everything that we do for OEM, uh, we have diagnostics on the pedal. So we're always checking the pedal hasn't gone wrong. So you never do use just one um, accelerator pedal sensor. Right. You always use two, you compare the two signals, we compare the rate of change of those signals, we compare the maximum and the minimum signals, so that if a wire falls off or it chafes or whatever, there is no chance of unintended acceleration. So there's a lot of diagnostics and safety checks goes into that. Plenty of intended acceleration, but uh, unintended. That's fine, <laughs> intended is fine. Unintended, not, not so, so much. Good. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah for sure. You don't want to be uh, yeah going into a wall unnecessarily. And the fact that um, you can use a Tesla pedal, that'll be great from a drivability point of view because I'm hoping to do you know a decent amount of mileage uh, in, yeah. in wedgie. So that, that is going to be a massive benefit. And the more OEM components we use, the more we're benefiting from that, that long test and development program they've done. So we know they're durable, reliable. I don't know how they'll behave over a very long time. Yep, nice and safe. So, uh, so yeah, I take it you just. Hang on, did you just call the TVR safe? <laughs> I think I might have done. Mm, mm, slap me, oh, slap me around. Uh, sure what am I talking feeling. about? The electric death sled. Yes. The electric death sled. Yes. That's more like it. That's it. That's it. So I suppose you just you just pull that forward out and just whack the other one in, right? Uh, something like that. I've already undone all the bolts mm. and moved a couple of other bits. So if we take this one out now. Uh, there's a couple of connectors on there so that's the main connector that connects to the outside world so yeah we'll connect onto it with that one and what does that when you say outside world not so to the air to the car so okay. that will connect to our vehicle control ECU yep um, our power ignition um, and all that sort of good stuff and where, where are we gonna mount that under the dash I think probably okay um, so this card then communicates with the rest of the inverter through this connector here yeah uh, there's a lot of smart brains in that inverter and crucially part of it that is calibrated to match the motor yes and that's very very important uh, this board's also got two current sensors on it here so yep. it measures the current out of two of the three phases right and if you know the overall current from the battery you can work out what the current in the third one is so you only need to monitor the two okay um, it's um, also got a temperature sensor on it as well so okay. it's it's got a lot of uh, safety things. We'll have to move the, the plastic for this connector off this board yeah, and stick it onto this Tesla board. Okay, doke. So as you can see, that connector is quite bare at the moment. Yeah. So we need to transfer the plastic over and all the rest of it. Okay. And then we've got to very carefully get these two current sensors mm -hmm. to fit in these two tiny little slots. Yeah, down here. they did look a bit small, those slots. And, uh, um, yeah. So it's... Uh, what do you do? Just push them in? And you push them in. You don't, you don't um, solder them or anything? Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, they've already got potting compound on them. Potting result. compound. Yeah, so which holds I was doing potting uh, this morning, actually. That's very good. Yeah. What were you potting yeah. on? Um, I, was, I was potting uh, strawberry plants, actually. Oh, very nice. Yeah, very yeah. summery. Very summery. So, uh, yeah, that goes on there. And then the, the other connection is that one, which goes to the motor yep. the position sensor, the resolver. Okay. So we'll straighten those out. We'll get the plastic put onto that. What's the other connector, the smaller one? This that one. one. Yeah. Uh, that's part of the um, that one there that goes into the inverter. Right. Okay. Super. So, um, in terms of when we're using the uh, the new piggyback, is that what you call it, controller? Um, how how are we going to be able to tune the car, the motor, the uh, the drivability? So with the software in the vehicle controller, we can actually uh, control the relationship between the accelerator pedal position as that reads it yep. and what torque request it sends to the inverter. Right, okay. And most importantly, will I be able to easily turn off the traction control? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. We can, we'll have a button on the dashboard, which will be the last thing you press before going through the hedge backwards. Like the big red bright one that you... If yeah. you like. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, uh, if knobs are important to you. Always, especially shiny red ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Ralph, do, do you need an open inverter uh, board? Uh, no. Well, that means that uh, we have this for sale. So uh, yeah, PM me on the socials, what have you, if you uh, are looking for such a board. I don't know what the cost is. One careful owner. One careful owner. <laughs> Never yeah. raced or rallied. Never. It's a shame, really. But um, but yeah. So that'll work on a Tesla small drive unit. There we go. I'm sure there's a few people out there that want to do some Tesla swaps. So, uh, so yeah. But thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been uh, interesting and also entertaining as well, ever. Um, and uh, what, what's next though, Ralph? What's what's next to get excited about? Uh, having a cup of tea. Ah, excellent. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you after a cup of tea in maybe a few days then. Awesome.